Professor Pasquino, thank you very much for a very interesting talk. Um, one of the potential surprises that you identified was a better performance by Grillo's Five Star Movement based on support from young center-right voters. Um, is that how you explain the eventual outcome and the 25% that you had in the election? The outcome has to be explained not only by looking at generations, political generations, and therefore the votes of the youngsters, but by looking at the amount of dissatisfaction with the traditional politics, all the parties and all the politicians, and in fact also corrupted politicians. So the outcome that has been extremely favorable to the Five Stars movement is the product of many elements that incidentally are not going to disappear very soon. Okay. Can you maybe elaborate on what um, the electoral outcome implies for the attitudes of Italians towards uh, the European Union? Well, this is something that uh, one has to be worried about because it is unclear whether the parties having the highest number of parliamentarians are truly uh, European, are truly in favor of a, of a closer European Union, are truly willing to accept what the European Commission will have to tell us or to bargain in, with enough prestige and enough competence with the European Commissioners and other European authorities. This is a big question mark. Uh, Professor Gilbert, thank you very much uh, for some very valuable insights on uh, the Italian election. What does the electoral outcome imply for Italians' attitudes uh, toward the European Union? This is something that no one's, uh, the people have not been talking about enough. Um, if one looks at the parties and the individuals who are elected to this parliament, I don't think there's any doubt that it is the most anti-EU parliament of Italian contemporary history, of Italian history. Italians have always been enthusiastic, almost uncritical supporters of the European Union, the polar opposites of the British, if you like. In this parliament, for the first time ever, you have a party, the uh, Movimento Cinque Stelle, which is avowedly anti-European. You have another party, Berlusconi, who campaigned against Merkel and the Euro. You have um, a, uh, the, the PD, the Democrats, claim to be ardently pro-Europe, but in fact they want a Europe in which, uh, a Europe which is a federal Europe, American style, spending large amounts of money to relaunch the economy, but that's not the Europe we've got. <laughs> the Europe we've got is Angela Merkel's Europe and the Europe of Northern Europe. Their policies are diametrically opposed to what Angela Merkel wants. And it'll be interesting to see whether this anti-Europeanism uh, or this opposition to the policies followed by the EU over the last three or four years, which is probably at this point held by the overwhelming majority of Italian deputies, leads to um, a political reaction and leads to Italy taking a more critical line within the European Union. Great. Professor Gilbert, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.